In terms of pure efficiency, Israel's vaccination drive has been the one unqualified success in its often criticized response to COVID-19. The aim is to vaccinate everyone over the age of 16 by the end of March, a target that also applies here in occupied East Jerusalem, where so far the rate of take-up has been almost 50% lower than in Israel. People are afraid. They don't know what to do. So I think all of them are waiting. Palestinians living in the eastern half of Jerusalem are the only non-Israeli citizens getting Israeli-procured vaccines, as calls mount for Israel to start sharing its supply with authorities in the occupied West Bank and Gaza. We also vaccinate the people whose marriage is uh, who's married to Palestinians and still live in East Jerusalem. We have, we have that service uh, and we're, not, uh, we're permitting uh, that also getting vaccinations. So we're doing our part in this, but the government needs to do more. Ahead of another election in March, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is promising Israelis that theirs will be the first country in the world to emerge from the pandemic. He's persuaded Pfizer to commit to an accelerated supply of its vaccine in return for Israel being used as a data-rich testbed for its efficacy. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry says Israel is neglecting its obligations as an occupying power by not providing vaccines to the 4.5 million Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza. But the PA Health Ministry says it neither expects nor requires such assistance. It says 20% of the need will be provided by the International Vaccine Alliance, Gavi, with the remainder secured by the PA from other sources. Whether it's in West Bank or Gaza, whether it's refugee or non-refugee, so it's our, our aim mandate and we are providing the vaccine for all of them and we did not ask any whether it is direct or indirect connection to Israel to provide us with the vaccine. In an interview last week with American broadcaster NPR, Israel's health minister said it was natural for a country to vaccinate its own citizens, as new COVID-19 cases continue to surge. Around the world, already a clear gap has emerged between rich nations and poor ones when it comes to vaccinating their populations. Israel's own program has outpaced even the richest countries. But that's only made starker just how much the Palestinians have been left out of the process and how far they've been left behind. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.